It still hurts to this day, doesn't it? The pain of retiring, again, watching my daughter climb her way to the top. This again? Why is this happening again? I'm a figment of your imagination, Justine. I know every day you wish to have some sort of conversation since our last one. I'm here now. Are you though? You're not physically here. But now that you are sort of here, I'm assuming there's something you want to talk about? Well, I never had the chance to say thanks for giving Brianna a chance to do her own thing after WrestleMania. You're welcome. I tried everything that I could to make her succeed after that. And I'll be honest, you did that really well. Putting her in a faction, get her to connect with others, have a boyfriend, get a lengthy title reign, and of course, have her make history in WWE along the way. But you know, like everything in this world, there's a catch. A catch? LJ is in a good position in WWE, sort of. What possible catch is there aside from her losing her women's championship? Did you remember the time, before my untimely death, I was planning to have management introduce the first ever WWE Queen of the Ring tournament back in 2009? It was all planned out, and it was only something that you, me, and my husband knew about. I do remember that. You said it was going to be a game changer for the Divas division. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't that much of a fan of the Divas division as much as you were, despite me winning the Divas championship at that time. I won that title because you were too greedy with the women's championship. That plan I was talking about was going to undo that. I mean that's a little too late. The Divas era has been over. Queen of the Ring is a thing speaking of which. Your daughter won a tournament in the UK. And I'm proud of her for accomplishing that. There's just one problem, like us. I can see a lot of, well, us and her, if you get what I mean. Christina, how does this relate to whatever she's doing currently? After beating you in our last match, I was thinking about going to the same path as you. Make so much history in this business to the point you feel like having full control over it. I would have done everything that you did, and I believe that's exactly what Brianna is going to do herself. You were going to turn heel, you never turned heel. I had every good reason not to especially after how you turned out to be. You knew how mad I could get, and I'm sure you know how mad Brianna can really be. I just want to see my daughter be appreciated by everyone around her and not make her such a massive target. So you want me to be more closer to her than usual? I know this sounds a little too much for someone her age, but what do you think happens when a spoiled child or animal doesn't get their way? They'll go wild. Until, until things, things end, end up going, going their, their way. way. Exactly. You knew the distance it took me to take that title off of you. The truth is, I know we want her to do her own thing, but if she ends up in a similar path to us, she'll be very uncontrollable. I may not be here to physically do anything, but that doesn't stop me from knowing much. That kid you're raising has the potential to be one of WWE's most dangerous talents in history. We can't have that company to go into absolute chaos just because of her. I know I sound paranoid for a dead person, but... I know, Christina. I understand that she can be very sensitive sometimes, but to be fair, that's because of us. I will do everything that I possibly could to steer her in the right direction. All she needs is a balance. Good. I understand that you're retired, but whenever she's around, give her a hug once in a while. Look, I have to get going. I know this is a dream to you. But don't you dare forget about it. Don't consider this just some random conversation between us. Consider this a warning. Love you, sis. Justine. 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 Yes. Sorry. I didn't get a good sleep last night. It's fine. What do you think of my Royal Rumble gear? Damn. That looks incredible. Thanks. I took some inspiration from your WrestleMania gear and mixed it with my own design. Cool! You know, despite the fact that gear is inspired by mine, you still look a lot like your mother. Well, just because I prefer to be myself, that doesn't mean I should acknowledge those who came before me. Especially those who share the same blood. And I'm not against it. You do what you want to do just as long as you don't get yourself in trouble like the past number of times. I've been learning my lessons lately, Justine. But I don't think that should count now. I saw what happened last Monday, first. I get Daisy Kingsley, then Jade Cargill. Now the rest of the Judgment Day, I'm pretty sure that wants someone to go after Jack's World Heavyweight title. I know that's very unfair. I'll try to help any way that I can. Do you want me to reach out to Sean? No. I don't want to cause any more drama with Sean Michaels. 
I'll just figure this out myself. I'm planning to start searching for some partners next week. Okay, but if anything goes wrong with that, don't forget that you got people around here who supports you. I appreciate that. I'll keep you updated. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. She's been a great champion thus far, but she is facing tough competition tonight. Remember, guys, the title's on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. The challenger looks to be in the best shape ever, ready to compete for that title. Challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. The champion came out here, someone gloating their belt around. Don't know if that's their way of playing mind games. That title should give anyone the right to gloat. Look, what good is it being on top of the mountain and you don't get to look down on everybody else? That is a sad attitude to have. Tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. Watch her set up in the corner. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Oh. Targeting the arm to great effect. Momentum now on her side. She's fighting hard and reaping the rewards. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. On the apron. Whoa, that landing. She's just getting worked over right now. Yeah, she's in desperate search for answers now. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, it gets put 
into the barricade. All right, she's back in, ready to go. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. Oh, man. Knee to the midsection into the pump handle. Here we go. Stopped her. Off into the pin. There's two. She powers out. She got so close she could taste it there. Oh, man. This is just punishing, disrespectful, and mean. God, ah, jeez. Oh, man. Turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Ooh, well measured. Looking wobbly in the corner. Has them in the corner, getting it charged up. There's the close line. And she's keeping the pressure on here. She's reading everything her opponent is trying to throw at her. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Impressive reversal there. She got tired of being pushed around. Now wants to push the advantage. Just got clobbered. Unexpected result there. Double chicken wing applied. Oh, slam. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Two count. Oh, kicks out. Kicks out. Just barely able to kick out. Less than a second to stay alive there. Wow. Double chicken wing applied. The champ will stay champ. She's on the ropes and the ref wisely stops the count. Section into the pump handle. Here we go. That's factor. Looking for the victory. Two. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. And still, women's intercontinental champion, Jane Carr. Girl. She is playing to celebrate here tonight. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. Well, these two competitors ready to oh, lock great. horns here not, tonight. Not, not, not so what fast, the hell Byron. are you doing here? Look who's here. What I just want to see surprise. what this lone wolf AJ Styles is ref. all about. Get this don't guy worry, I'm not going to bite you or a scrum like that. I'll just be sitting here at commentary with, with Michael Cole and Corey Graves. You do you. Great. Welcome. Good luck with your match, Have buddy. Would you invite them out here, Corey? I plead the fifth. How can you focus on your opponent in the ring when you got someone running around the ringside? Running around, Cole, they're simply here to survey the scene, maybe take a few notes. It's about the game prep. Yeah, maybe take a few notes. Likely to get involved. Bell rings. Hopefully these superstars' eyes are on the prize here. Obviously an attempt was just made to shake some focus in this one. Yeah, call it a mind game. Call it an added variable. Now they will have to watch their back even more in this one. That's part of the territory, Saxton. Anything can happen in sports entertainment. So long. How do you formulate a game plan when going up against 
against a superstar like Styles. A lot of AJ's offense. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Trying to wrap up this match fast. And an Irish whip into the corner. AJ, AJ. What, what the hell do you want? Jay, leave him alone. Commentator taking a From what I just saw, I don't think you're leaving with guys. the Intercontinental Championship this Saturday. I knew you were going to get yourself here. involved. Oh! That's what you get for taking your eye off the ball. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. A big splash! Cover. He gets the kick out after the one. Still not enough to put him away. Positioning his opponent. Yes. He hits it. Dials class. Big problem for Kofi Kingston. Big kick out. Kofi's still got life. Kofi's still got a chance. And AJ used what has put so many men away in the past. No way. Yes way. Styles uncorks a spiral tap. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Whoa. Uh oh! Slingshot sent on. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Seven. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. That holds back Styles' attack. a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. <laughs> Kobe Kingston! <laughs> How about a little? And a counter. A counter by Styles. <laughs> Backbreaker. Face first. Lethal combination. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Styles ready to strike. Does Styles finish the job here? Cover. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And with the results of this battle to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Jack, can't you believe this? Daisy is now getting the entirety of Judgment Day on our asses. Do they know that there's now six of them versus the two of us? And Sean is just okay with this. He wasn't this calm when we were in the trio. We're like 23 going 24. We're not freaking Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Undertaker, Bruno Sammartino, Andre the Giant, Stone Cold, Kurt Angle, The Rock. All right, I get it. I know it's odd that Shawn Michaels is siding with this alliance, but just think about this. Whether we'll have allies or not by Saturday, we'll defy those odds like we always have, for all we know. This whole alliance is probably just Shawn testing our potential. Our potential. He forcefully made Justine retire. Have us defend our titles to the point we lose them. Let Bruce turn on us. Stack us up against the Platinum Club. Suspended us. And now this, this is full. I know and I'm not just saying that. I think Sean believes we are on the same level as guys like Lester or Reigns. Think about the amount of superstars they've conquered. With or without their titles, 
We made ourselves the stars around here. Not these titles. We will prove it to them. When I came into the wrestling world, I didn't label myself as the thunderous guy as some sort of gimmick. I used that title as a promise. A promise that one day I'll make it here. After Sean renamed me to the lock, of course I was offended by it because I know. I did not bust my ass so hard for years in the indies just to eventually come here and become some goofball known as the lock. That was management's plan and I chose to remain with the very title that brought me here as the thunderous Jack Raiden. I wouldn't take this situation as a problem. I'd take it as another step to the top of the mountain. You know what? You're right. Maybe this is just Sean testing our limits. Why is your Dana calling me? Hello. What kind of question is that? Like to start a relationship or just in a random conversation in a relationship? To start a relationship. I've been trying to convince that you didn't have to cut her off like that. I know, but I had a feeling she was going to tell me everything about whoever she's in love with. And I have to hear the whole thing while getting ready for my match. Speaking of which, I gotta go get ready for my match later. Love you. Now one of the most popular competitors in the women's division. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! Guys, Liv Morgan just living out her dream here in WWE. Yeah, Liv's career has just really taken off. Became Miss Money in the Bank and then successfully cast in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion. The HBIC. Head Batty in charge. And Mia is always ready for a fight. And representing the OC from Fontana, California, Michin Mia Yan. She is the baddest of the baddies. That's it. Returning to the WWE to right the wrongs. Mia Yim with impressive performances in the first two May Young Classic tournaments. Yeah, plenty of big match experience in NXT, competing at several NXT TakeOver events. Ready to jump to that next level with a win here tonight. Kicking things off with Liv Morgan, who really earned her spot here in WWE. You can say that again. Liv walked the long, hard path to greatness. Fought to get better every day, and from where I'm sitting, her hard work paid off. She won the heart of the fans and the respect of the locker room. High praise indeed for the young Liv Morgan. But she'll be dealing with a superstar who has honed her craft around the globe in Meech Hin. No stranger to the hustle and grind. We got to cover. And she kicks out. She still has a lot more in her. Oh, what a shot. Kick to the gut. Endless kicks to the gut. All right, I'll explain to you what that feels like. Ah, uh, she fights Mia back. And this has got to be it. Shut her up right away. How at this point? You don't even stay down long enough for a one count. It's beyond comprehension. Spin kick to the midsection. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And Mia with the counter. Liv Morgan looking for the two face breaker. For the win. She still fights out in one. Play for the world to see. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now's the time to find that second win. Find that rush of adrenaline to push you forward. Whoa. Watch out. Slingshot sent on, yes. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. This match is falling apart for her. Yeah, she's looking drained, Cole. I don't know how much is even left in her. And this match will head back to the ring. What's Mia got in store? With that soul food. Yim got all of it. Tight end. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Superstar tonight certainly earned it. It wasn't easy. Well, I think the loser realizes he wants to show respect. Wow. A complete disrespect by the winner. This is a deeply personal issue. It doesn't appear to be completely resolved just yet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sweetwater, Texas. Weighing in at 237 pounds, the outlaw, Bruce Weaver. Talk about an intense competitor. This superstar doesn't have an off switch. Nobody has an off switch, Saxton. Trust me, if you had one, I'd have hit it a long time ago. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. 
and his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, up to this point, Ricochet has seen plenty of success here in WWE. Won titles with his unbelievable agility. It's like Ricochet found the options menu for life and turned off the gravity option. Yeah, no camera tricks, no hidden wires. Ricochet, he's the real deal. Before this match, Ricochet said he wants to be a beacon of hope, that there is no dream too big. Sometimes I yeah. think Ricochet says those kind of things less to convince others and more to convince himself. There's a constant confidence check going on in Ricochet's head. I don't know if I can agree with that, Corey, but don't discount the man he's facing. A man who has been counting the minutes to getting this fight started. Sliding basement forearm. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Watch out! Oh, a huge miss there. Uh-oh. Turn around Ricochet's attack. Man. Hits him with the counter. You'd have to guess the taking on Ricochet means focusing all your attention on his aerial get shoulders down. He's still got more left in the tank. Ricochet has... Beautiful. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Athleticism from Ricochet. Big boot! Incredible. Oh my goodness! Diving moonsault from the apron. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Ricochet down, much to the crowd's dismay. Ricochet has to bounce back. Fist directly to the gut. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Oh, what a brain buster. Oh, nasty. Ricochet has lined up his shot, ready to go. Him. Shoulder up even before a one count. The biggest weapon in his artillery fired back at him. But he survived it. Ricochet is really going to have to show his heart here. Needs to keep the pressure on. Is it on the bottom of the window? Somehow kicked out. That's really as close as it gets. Ooh, close line delivered. Reversal stops Ricochet. T-bone into a power slam. And here we go now. Elbow drop. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Whatever's playing here can't be good. My goodness! And then look at that! They're playing ways, battling this area. Could end in serious harm. So much damage inflicted. 
This offense causing Ricochet to wind down. Ricochet has to find energy fast. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top. Ricochet finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Ricochet has to push now. Why the oh my God! He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Ricochet has been slowed to a stop. Needs to pick it back up. Uh oh, we know what's next. Completely uncalled for. Or was it? So much bad blood here. Wasted little time to get this thing started. Here we go. These two are at it. The bell hasn't even rung yet. The official needs to get control. The official doing their best. And maybe we will get some semblance of control and a bell. Here we go. Well, they didn't want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally got things under control. I can only imagine what these two are going to do to each other during the course of this matchup. This match is off to a rocky start after some blows were exchanged before the bell. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. It just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there is no more holding back. Oh, that was pretty cool. Now ah, there's a springboard into a corkscrew moonsault. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. For Rhea Ripley to get the win here in this match. I think Rhea needs to try and find the mental advantage. She needs to get inside her opponent's head and be a nightmare for them. If she can get them rattled, she'll be well on her way to victory. Back into the ring she goes. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. If she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Standing shooting star press and throw. Shoulder shoots up before two. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Staved off that attack. A running dragon run. Discouraging results for Ripley right here. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. This is agonizing. The death lock is in. Right to the ankle. So precise. Then again. Uh-oh, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Stop right to the belly. an assault from her here. You can tell she is fully focused now. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. No, no, no. Slingshot cross body to the outside. Ah, oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the house. Taking out there by the monitor. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Ripley gets her back. Rhea isn't taking this lying down anymore. Rhea could be turning her fortunes around. And she is now laying her opponent on the announce desk. Bad intentions in mind. We're going to see it. It's the sheer destruction. And there's no telling how much more chaos these superstars are capable of creating. 
They've got something else in mind here for their opponent. Who's on all fours? That's gotta be it. There's two! No, she kicks out. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. She's enduring some damage. Impressive defense stops Ripley. She's saying, let's go, bring it. Ooh, that backfired out. She's going for it, this could be. Oh, a kick out, how did she do that? How is that not three? A running swan time. And the rope saver there. Great count. and stamina to pick up the win here tonight. Sometimes your plans work, sometimes they don't. Their plan of attack just didn't have the desired effect. Or maybe you shouldn't be planning to win by using cheap tricks in the first... And now she delivers her back into the ring. And they call you the Eradicator. More like the Eradicated. An excellent high flyer with an amazing family lineage. But now is looking to make his name at his family's expense. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. Byron, think about where Dominic made his debut at SummerSlam. You cannot ask for a higher pressure situation. Yet Dominic Mysterio thrived and showed how much he had truly learned from the guidance of his father, Ray Mysterio. Dominic certainly lies beyond his years. He can do things in the ring that sometimes takes other years to learn. I think Dominic Mysterio has all the potential in the world. I agree with you, Cole, and it looks like Dominic's already starting to realize that potential. to start, and the countdown is almost over.
The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. You can see that the champ looks a little relaxed going into this match, don't you think, guys? Well, the relief of not putting your title on the line certainly has to help, Michael. All I know is that with or without the title... Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. I have no idea how he... How do you escape the abdominal stretch like that? Wrists captured it. That was nasty. For the win! And a strong kick out in one. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? Drop a drop kick. Corey, how can Dominic Mysterio compensate for his relative lack of extensive experience when clashing with the very best here in WWE? I think what evens the scales for Dominic is his incredible fighting spirit. He refuses to quit, no matter how stacked the odds are against him. That might be what earns him the win tonight. Yeah. Oh, right in there. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. <laughs> Drop kick hit. It's the mark. match and the cost of that is really showing now sent straight into the barricade Black mass. good night both wrists captured it that's nasty Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here run out of ringside and back to the mat Springboarding into the DDT. Oh, Swanton. And Dominic's resolve might be wavering here. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Climbing to the top rope. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. This match grinded him down a little. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. How's that for a counter? Ooh. Look at him hurt him. Oh, my God. That shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Congratulations to the crowd to get back into the fight. Dominic gets the better there. Reversals, reversals. And unbelievable. Dominic in crisis mode. Two. I'm pretty sure Andrew. Precise aiming on that basement drop kick. Oh my gosh, what a Was ready for that. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Face first. 
Charging up the arm, and ooh, what a close line in the corner. Had it up, he's thinking back. Rock splash! Will Dominic make it pay off? Two count! I oh, kicked it out. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if set up for a second time. Uh-oh. This deep into a match is where trouble rises, where injuries may occur. You've got to think long term. Double stop flattens the opponent. What an exclamation mark right there. Two. Man, what a match. And what a victory. <laughs> this superstar fired up in the face of victory. And what a classy display by the loser. Not how the knight wanted. Oh! Classy, not at all. How about pathetic?